Hi, thank you for allowing us to send you this video. My name is Alex and I'm going to be showing you a few tips on how by improving little things in your website you can get more exposure in Google, outrank your competition and of course get more uh, clients. So uh, let's start here, have your website pull out and one of the first recommendations that I have to give is to add more relevant content. And when I say content, is I'm not talking just about uh, images, icons, um, that kind of thing. I'm talking more about when it comes to the, all these uh, words over here. So when you add relevant content, you have to include the keywords that you need to be found for, or you want to be found for. For example, it's my book in New York, and I'll be showing you that in a second as well. So things like that will give you more power, so you can uh, you can start ranking for those keywords in, the, in those Google searches. Um, moving forward, I have the back end of your website below here, and here I can see that you are being found for only 33 organic keywords. And that's what I was telling you that uh, content comes into a really important uh, part of the of the website. And then you have 178 backlinks. Now, what are backlinks? Backlinks are other sites that are mentioned in your website, and this this will give you power so you can be found on Google. Think about this like a popularity contest. The more people you, you, you get to talk about you in a positive way, the more relevant you're gonna you, you're gonna you're gonna become you're gonna you're gonna stay more relevant you're gonna become relevant. So um, in links are the same thing. Um, not all links are created equal. So you can have hundreds of hundreds of backlinks, but if they're not powerful enough, if they're not if they're not, if they're not relevant, and most important, if they're not targeting the keywords that you need to be found for, this is gonna stay really low. So. Let's move on and let's take a look to the organic keywords that you're being found for. I can see over here that you're ranking for this specific keyword, but is that really something that uh, relevates, uh, relates to your services? Um, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't think so, but uh, for example, calling a heating company uh, in general, um, that is too broad of, a, of, of companies. So remember, this is... Um, this is like a national keyword, so national uh, targeting. So it's pretty, pretty uh, complex. Um, let's keep going over here. I can see that you're trying to rank for here HVAC Brooklyn, New York, and you can see that this is something more, uh, more specific. There's 50 searches a month for this specific keyword, and you're on the fourth page, so you're not getting any traffic for that. Your that means that you're not getting those potential clients. Um, you can see same thing here. This is the same keyword, uh, just a difference of the difficulty to to work on. Um, and you can see over here 50 searches of the like I was telling you, and it seems that you've been you're trying to rank for that. So you're still on the sixth page, seventh page. Um, and I can show you that because if we tap this into Google, the first thing you're going to see here is the sponsor. You pay to be there. Uh, then we have the map section. And regardless of your location, if you have a profile, if it's optimized, and if you have a website to back it up, um, being here is very, is very, very important because 67% of the people that do a Google search, they only go for the top three here and the top three on the organic results. That means that they don't scroll all the way down and even go to the second or third page. So there's a lot of opportunities that you might be missing just right here. Um, moving on, we have the organic results. Uh, number one, we had Yelp, which is a directory. Number two, and then I found these guys um, on number three. And let's see, what are they doing so they can, for them to be ranking on this fourth or third position? We can see that their website, uh, they have a little more content, uh, apparently not that much, but still. That's good news for you because if they don't have too much uh, content, especially on the words, um, you can easily uh, start competing with these guys if you add probably twice or triple that they uh, the content that they have into your website. Um, they have more uh, location pages. They have different uh, links over here for the sub pages as well. And if we look at the back end of their website, they've been found for over a thousand keywords. That's quite a lot. And they have 734 backlinks, but again, number doesn't matter, it's just about the, the quality. And I can tell that it's not too much of a quality here, so probably they, 
they're doing just enough for them to be in that for a few plays. Uh, let's take a look and see the keywords that um, they're being found for. Uh, for example, this one is very important too. Uh, New York HVAC Services, 90 searches a month, and they're ranking number one. And because they're ranking number one, they're getting 33 visits straight to their website. Um, HVAC Repair Brooklyn, uh, there's 200 searches a month. They're ranking number five, and because of that, they're getting 16. So you can add up this 16 minus 33. That's quite a lot of uh, potential customers they have. Uh, Brooklyn, it's back Brooklyn. Uh, let's see, that's the, uh, right here. This is the one that we were just uh, looking at. 50 searches a month, and they're ranking number three, and they're getting six spaces. So all of this um, can give you a better perspective on how by volume numbers, how many uh, how many visits you can actually get if you're ranking the first, at least on the first page. So, uh, just to recap this really quick, quick because I don't want to take too much of the time. Uh, if you want to start competing with these guys, you, you can be uh, found on Google and start climbing those positions. Number one is content. Make sure you have relevant content. It has to be original because if it's copy and paste, um, Google does not notice. Uh, they have an algorithm working and it, it detects that. And when you add in keywords, make sure that they have to be in specific places and specific uh, headlines and that kind of things. And if you're going to be working uh, to give more power to your website with links, make sure they're really good quality. Otherwise, uh, you can have thousands and thousands, but if this number doesn't climb up and you're not being found for the keywords that you want to be found for, that means something is not working on this end. Um, once again, my name is Alex. I hope you find this information valuable. If you have any questions, please let us know, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.